The nice thing about Calvisius Caviar is we do 25 tons a year. We're Friends of the Sea certified, which means we take really good care of the fish. It's a fresh running aquifer, so there's no filtration systems. It's a fresh running water out of the ground, goes through the farm, it has to be perfect going in, as perfect going out. They use all the water for farming. Um, the fish are uh, actually, believe it or not, vegetarian, okay? So they eat pure algae, which makes them very, very healthy for us. Um, the fish can take um, anywhere from seven to 22 years for the females to have eggs. The difference in price is not the quality. The difference in price is how long it takes to raise them. It's the, it's the passion for the fish itself uh, that really makes us different. If you look at this in the U.S. right now, this is a Siberian or a Bayeri sturgeon. This right now is sold as Ocetra all over the U.S. It's mislabeled. All right, this one takes seven years to raise. This one takes, you know, 11 to 12. It makes a big difference in the cost, okay? They're all great caviars. This is the tradition, or a white sturgeon. This was originally started our farm. It was out of the Columbia River in, out in uh, Washington State in the U.S. So we started back in 78 with six fish, and that's where our farm actually developed and grew. Um, the cool part is the caviar is all 3.4 percent salt whereas almost all the caviars in the US are 5 to 12 percent salt so you really get to taste the caviar um, the Italians are very passionate about what they do no hormones no antibiotics and no pesticides allowed in your country that makes us totally unique in the in the fish market one of these tins I love best way to open it is with a quarter so you just pop it open like an oyster and you open it up and you get these beautiful eggs. How can I recognize if it's good or not? You, you look at it and you look to see if the eggs are solid, if they're oily, if there's oil pouring out. Can you do that with a lot of caviars? I don't think so. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Um, this is a beautiful caviar. What you want to do is you want to take a spoonful of caviar. You want to put it on your knuckle. Why would I put it on my knuckle is because I get to look at the eggs. They warm just a little. You don't want to serve it warm. You want it to warm just before you eat it. But you want to look at the eggs, see if they're broken or, or solid. These are beautiful and they got a beautiful uh, look, color, shape. The thing you want to do is smell okay. it. Okay. Any smell means it's no good. All right. If it smells sweet, it's, it's spoiled. But great caviar should have no smell, maybe a little touch of the sea if you have a really good nose. Then you're gonna put it on your tongue, crush it on the roof of your mouth, and let the flavors come to you. This caviar has so many different flavor profiles. I taste um, initially celery notes, then I get hazelnuts, walnuts, almonds, and then if I let it sit on my tongue for a second or two, I actually get apples, pears, strawberries, sometimes rose hips. Enjoy. So good. Everybody thinks they're Russian caviar. I'm like, please buy Russian caviar. Why do I say that? Because we put five tons into Moscow last year. Okay, so they're marking it up as Russian caviar. Great caviar from Italy. Five tons worth of caviar into Moscow last year. So how is doing a defensive food show here Fantastic. this year? How about the people? We've had more people come out and just are just amazed at the quality. Um, the flavor profiles are fantastic and the, the customers are actually coming and, and I've had people that say, I, I run a candy store. Can I buy this caviar? Where can I buy this caviar? So I give them my card. I said, go ahead and order it online. Let me know and I'll throw something in for you. So it's been really good. Uh, the show itself, I've had some great customers. And they don't turn around overnight. It takes years to get them. And this is going to be a very good show for us. I can already see it.